Okay. So that's gonna give me... <laughs> ha! Ah! That is not giving me the sh No, 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 that's giving me the sh Hold up, hold up. I was starting to be a little bit concerned, but that is giving me the shape. Um, and then we need to do a similar thing again. But then we need to get the corner piece. So I need I need to have a separate line of these though. We need to have like one of these for that one. And then like a a split right over here. Maybe over here instead actually. We'll we'll try and do it backwards. Gifting us up to Vine Stark. Thank you very much. Anonymous. Actually no, that was Thort. Thort and Anonymous. You think they're related? I think that might be related. Just copy paste to make twice as much. Right, I could do that. We're not running in a rush though, I don't need that many. Um. I don't really need a ton of rounded corners. So I think what we do is we just destroy half of them. Then we rotate. And then we destroy. And then we rotate. <laughs> this seems a little suboptimal, I'll be honest, but it works. Why is the final shape you need to get more complex than the first shape? Or the, the third one? It's a bit... Anyways. Okay, um, then these two get merged together. Ah, oh, shit. This is not correct. Uh... They have to be... Mirrored. Dude, it's annoying because I start turning my screen around and it becomes a bit of a... Hold up. Cheers and thanks for the smiles. Hey, thank Any you, Any plans for Space Marine 2? Do? Oh, bless. <laughs> Tumblr glass underscore. Tumblr I can't get over the way underscore. Brian always says two. Yes, yes. I will definitely play Space Marine 2 when it releases. Um, Probably day off. Two. Yes. Looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. I just recently did Space Marine 1. Um, which also was a blast. Thank you very much, uh, Slightly Drunk Gaming. Appreciate you, dude. Do? Wait, I didn't even need that last rotation. Hold up right now. Now that I'm looking at my shapes, I'm just making this more complex than it needs to be. Which is, admittedly, the loco way. Overcomplicating things is something I love to do. This is really ugly. Okay. Uh, Age of Mythology Retold, I would also certainly be down to check out. Assuming they remove the DVD bouncer thing. It's the math way, complicate stuff to make it easy. Yeah. This is unnecessary, by the way, but I can do it, so I'm gonna do it. Shapers will understand. No, I'm gonna play solo. I'm gonna play solo, um... Space Marine. 
Um, I like playing games solo. Logo, can you answer the Finnish version of who wants to be a millionaire? I don't think I can watch that video on stream. Can I? Oh yeah, I guess it should be fine. Mikä on Taimaan pääkaupunki? A. Bangkok. B. Bangdik. C. Bangpusi. Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think the answer is Bangkok. I think it's Bangkok, chat. I am. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think that's correct. I, I'm fairly sure that that is accurate. I don't know the question, but I think I got it. I'm assuming this is one of the first questions they ask in that show, huh? Yo, abandoned ship. Happy early birthday, Loco. Thank you, man. Hope you had a wonderful birthday week. <laughs> Thank you, man. My birthday isn't for a while, but uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for the two years. Damn. Is it my birthday? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, gamers. In two months. Happy birthday, Loco. Thank you, guys. Thank you. In two months. I am officially turning older. How old am I turning? 32. 32. Yeah. Also known as ancient. Okay, start throwing those guys. No, I don't know. 23? Nah, dude. We are gonna be 32, guys. 32 is pretty nice. Can't rec- uh, or can't- yeah, can't recommend. Life's pretty nice, dude. I feel good. Um, I need to make my stacker over here. Actually, I'm gonna move them down a little bit. I think this is fine, right? So we just run that in there, and then we run more in that in there. Very good. Ooh, we have a new milestone. Look at that. This is R B R B R B C R C R C R C R. No, I'm turning 32, Thort. That's what I was thinking. I was born in 92. So I'm I'm turning 32. I thought for a second I was turning 31, but then I realized I am 31. Old. Ninety-two, dude. Best year. You're three years older than me. Oh, you remember the eighties? Isn't that back when the Beatles still used to tour? It's been a long time, Thort. I don't know, by the way. I don't know. Elvis was probably still going around. Yeah. Those were the days. <laughs> it's 
Thord remembers the uh, the Berlin Wall. God. They took that one down real quick after Thord was born. Or maybe it's because Thord was born. Look, FYI, if you keep sending this next milestone shape you're making, you get more levels. This one? Oh, it shows you like an indicator when you delete stuff, right? So I think the gray icon... Green is that it's currently useful. I think gray means that it's not useful anymore. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on the next one. Thank you very much, Barnacle. That's very handy. I would have deleted that immediately. Um, okay, I gotta merge these things together. No, that doesn't work like that. I keep doing that. No! Dang it. This is dumb. Okay, so we need to split. Split. Mirror. Then go from there. Yeah. So we don't need a ton of them. That should give me the square. And then you get together with the other guy. The guys are gonna get together. Okay. We wanna merge you guys together into one little square. You go on top, the other guy goes in the bottom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Almost ran out of space, but it works. Throw in the frisbee! I've got some severe bottlenecks. Yeah, this is, uh... Please go that way, too. Oh, that's not possible. Why is that not possible? You do it like this? There we go. That works. <laughs> it's a little cursed, but it works. Well, there's a lot of things you unlock still. So I gotta, there's a lot of stuff I still need to unlock. I need 8,000 of these things. Oof. There's a severe bottleneck over here somewhere, man. I think I'm just gonna double up on this. It's my it's my turning thingies that are making this all a little like sloppy. The um the the rotators the rotators are slow. So I only need three half destroyers, but for every half destroyer, I need a rotator. Like, I need two. So, the rotators are the bottleneck, but this should be smoother now. Still a bit of a mess.
What? That's not what I selected. I'm confused. Control C, no? Oh, okay, there you go. I. There we go. Bit of a mess. But that should speed things up a bit. And then we can go back to this one right over here. Um, we no longer need this. Uh, this goes over there, yes. We delete some of this. There we go. And then you guys just stack each other. Okay. I think that does the trick. I just didn't build this in such a way that it's expendable, but... Uh, let me see. So that should be the shape, right? Please tell me that's the shape. Yes, that is the shape. Okay, good. Um... What is this abomination doing over here? What are you doing, buddy? Why are you not do- <sighs> Ah! I think I could have done this all a little bit differently, guys. I think a lot of those bottlenecks, though, solve each other out when you... Get more upgrades. Yeah, a belt cannot go in four directions, right. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck you. You're not gonna exist. Now you're just gone. Yeah, you can... yeah. <sighs> It's okay. We will just live with this bottleneck now. This is my life. All right. Gray with red. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we hide the completed ones, and we also hide the locked ones. I think that makes life a bit easier. So this shape over here, I don't know how I would ever do that, but it seems like it's an easy one if I have that option to mine. Yeah, there's like a little wiener, right? Like, we need to mine the wiener. That may be an essential, an essential short-term goal. So some of these shapes are actually just laid out right over here. There's also one with two wieners over here, though. That might be better for me to bring back. Oh my god. I think this is the ultimate wiener. It's a bit misshapen, but it will function. Yeah. Aesthetics are secondary. Keep that in mind. Oh, I built one too many, but that's okay. My glorious blueprint. Boom! This is gonna make the game very complex though, guys, because there's gonna be a lot of variety that we have to keep in mind here. Um, I need to run a... Wait, how do I run this? How do I switch my menu? It's not a conveyor belt, is it? Oh, it's platforms. Oh shit, dude, what, what are you? Ha, ah, liquids, electricity, stars. This is what makes you boost up, right? In Mario Kart, I think that's it. So 
So this must be a liquid. Yeah. What's going on, Orange Fury? Thank you for the two months. What did I say? Okay, you know what? Fuck you. You're not gonna exist. Now you're just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little toxic. Out of context? That that could be considered slightly mean. But to be fair, that belt had it coming. That belt had it coming. I'm a mushroom man now. I'm gonna make mushrooms. Wait, that could be taken out of context too. Anyways. I thought you said that to a cheddar, Loco? No, I would not say that to a cheddar. I wonder if I should have taken the double wiener. I'm still thinking about maybe taking the double wiener. Is there a triple wiener anywhere? I think the double wiener might be better. <laughs> Some of these things could be taken out of context, but I'm glad you guys are all grown ups and you would never point those sort of things out. Because that could be embarrassing. Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. No, I don't know. Oh shit, we can merge them together? That seems really dangerous. Okay. So that's the double. I think the double might be... Yeah, I think that might make things a little easier. Because then I can just do the bottom shape very quickly. So, if I want to set this up properly, right, and I want to... I want to have enough rotators available to do this shape right from the start. I guess I don't even need any rotators, I just need cutters. We just need cutters, yeah. Yeah, we don't need anything fancy. So how many of these things do I need? I need four of them, according to the game. So what is an easy way of setting this up? Like, what if I want to loop it back in on itself? Would that be efficient? It would be easier to keep track of. So the only resource that I need over here are these. I'll give myself a little bit more space. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... Do I need to process... The little things? Oh, I need to clear the belt, I think. How do I clear the belt? There was a... There we go. Okay, maybe this was a dumb idea. We keep hitting I until we no longer see any of these ugly colors coming in. All right. I think what I should do instead, guys, is process each individually instead. Rather than running it like this, I mean, it's gonna look kind of messed up, but it'll work. So there was a trash research that I can do. Destroy shapes. That might actually be a necessity here because they can't continue cutting. Yeah, I'm doing this for the first time. It might not be the best way of doing it. 
Ah, look at that. I can dump them straight into the abyss. But I can support... Hold up. I can support a lot more off of one build than this. I can do four of them on a single belt, can't I? So what is the optimal way to do this? I feel like I'm grasping. I like I'm 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 close to grasping some of the basics of the game. <laughs> Like, I feel like we are close to a light bulb moment here, okay? Most people have probably figured this out real quick. So I could run a belt from here. Can I look, do a T intersection like this? Is the bottleneck the belt? Okay, well, anyways, it'll do for now. Well, you've got a huge brain, Dita Hunter. It's very different. Very wrinkly. Yeah, four belts merged into one is a huge bottleneck. Required buildings for a fully saturated belt of items. So this should be this should be efficient, right? Assuming this is considered a full belt, which it looks like. It's not much, gamers, but this may be my first efficient belt. Or is this not a full... Is this a full belt? I don't know. How do I know if this is a full belt? Oh no, it says over here, 100% efficiency. Dude, it freaking calculates it? Waiting for more items to... Oh, 100%! Huge. I don't even have to do any math myself. Not that I was going to, but I'm glad to have a little bit of uh, positive feedback, you know? What's going on with my really slow caller? This one's got to be very inefficient. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how inefficient this freaking belt is. Oh, 30% efficiency. Okay. Yeah, so my whole base setup over here at the very beginning, I only just now realized, is a problem. I assumed that I needed to merge four belts together into one for full saturation, but that's not how it is. Okay. Well, it'll trickle away. It's fine. We have many shapes to make. Yeah, merging four belts into one is a big no-no. Four miners saturate one belt, 12 belts saturate a big belt? 12 belts? There's a big belt? Oh, you mean the space belt? Ah. Twelve miners are saturating a space belt? Hold up right now. This is four, no? What are, what are we missing here? I can't click on the space belt it's saying itself to like look at the efficiency here. This one over here should be efficient. Yeah, 100%.
What do you mean? Yeah, I'm assuming you can upgrade the speed of the belt at some point, which changes all the ratios, but... I'm glad it does the calculations for you, though. Okay, um... <clears throat> I need to make sure we merge some of these parts together. So I want to be making little half moons over here too, basically. I guess for now, actually, I can just put a trash can right over here and we can just sort of build it from here. It's probably easier for me if I built like that. Do -do -do. Ah. Okay. So that's the that's the little halves coming in. Um I don't know what the efficiency of this is going to be like though. Oh, sh what? No, I didn't mean to do that. Control Z. Dude, Control Z is such a sweet little sweet little hotkey. I like that a lot. <sighs> Time machines. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really nice quality of life stuff here. Can I maybe build it over here instead? Because that one is already efficient. What's funny is that this game is early access and it's like, you know, this is one of those early access games that kind of feels like it could be done. I haven't run into any issues at all. Okay, so we need to create a split over here. Where half of these are going to be rotated. And then merged together. Um, so I don't need a ton of rotation, but a little bit. The only problem is that this is going to create a bottleneck again. I'm not sure how it would solve that. Alright, we can have a look at it now. I'm going to delete the trash can. There we go. So this over here should be efficient. I think. I think it's going to round up to 100 at some point. I mean, now it's going to run out, but okay. Um, this split obviously is going to be slowing things down a bunch when I start processing it. Oh, Star Wars Outlaws is out? They sent me a key for the game. How are the reviews? Because I saw like some initial looks at it and it didn't look very good. It's a buggy mess. Okay. Sounds like an Ubisoft game. I feel like I'm not very good at following the Twitch meta, man. At this rate, I'm going to probably be playing Star Wars Outlaws in 2025, when nobody's interested in it anymore. It's buggy on PC, but PS5 seems fine. Okay. I don't know. I looked at the game, and it I don't, it didn't look that fun. Like, it looked like a worse God of War. But 
But maybe it's good, I don't know. It's not like I'm particularly uh, desperate to play a certain video game, right? Like, it's not like I'm running out of games to play. <laughs> there are so many. Okay. That should give me the shape I need. There we go. Like a jellyfish. Looks like a jellyfish to me anyways. I don't know what the efficiency of this is going to be like, but we'll let it run for a little bit while we look at this clip. This is a clip from Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know, man. I... I'm already not a big adventure type of game type of guy, you know? Like, I occasionally play them. I like playing God of War, but I, I'm not like, you know, I'm not the biggest God of War, you know, fan out there. I know it was an excellent game, I really enjoyed it. It's the same for like Horizon Zero Dawn and all that. I thought Horizon was a really good game. But I don't think I'm like... I'm not the one who's jumping at a new God of War release, if that makes sense. It's not necessarily the type of game I enjoy playing more than any other. So... Maybe at some point I'll, I'll give... I don't, I don't think I'm gonna play that, no. <sighs> Horizon was amazing. I think Horizon Zero Dawn was great. I think Horizon Forbidden West was not that good. Story didn't make any sense. I liked Horizon Zero Dawn, but they finished the storyline, you know, and then Horizon Forbidden West was like, oh shit, the game was a success, I guess we need to make a sequel, we'll come up with a new story. It was okay, it was fine. But it wasn't, you know, oh, what did I do? It wasn't as lovely. I should play Sekiro again? I played it already. So look, something's going wrong here. Where is my bottleneck here? I thought in Horizon 1 it was really cool how you could like figure out. So I didn't realize when I, maybe this is very really obvious. Spoiler alert for Horizon 1. In Horizon Zero Dawn, I didn't realize that originally this was supposed to be a futuristic human settlement type of thing. I didn't realize that like it was supposed to be like a post-apocalyptic type of setting. And that was kind of like a big reveal when I was playing it. I was like, oh shit, that's what it is. Like, yeah, humans would go back to tribes and all that. I didn't realize that initially. I don't look at trailers and I don't look at any of those things. So I didn't realize it. Yeah, the mech beasts kind of gave it away, but I wasn't sure what those were. They spent a long time on a storyline in Forbidden West that I felt like was completely irrele uh, irrelevant, but I forgot about it now. A lot of the storyline felt like it was not doing anything. So why am I getting so few little circles here? I mean, I could just make little circles over here instead. I don't really need that many over here. I'm making a load of them over here. There you go. That should make things a little bit faster. Uh, do we have to rotate them?
We sure do. Um, so the shape they have to be in the end is that one. Okay. Yes. I'll build a bunch of them. Spaghetti embrace. Yeah, everything slows down a bunch because of those splitters and or because of those uh, rotators. We did finish the final one over here, by the way, so that's pretty sweet. Hell yeah. Six additional research points. A swapper. I feel like having another rotator might be nice. Swaps the west half of two shapes. I think this can be incredibly useful. I just feel like I'm going to also forget that I have it, but I guess I'll get it. Um, so I'm going to get all of this like so, and then all of them can go into that one like that. That should make things a little bit better. This is a curious way of doing anything. So one problem here is that I don't get enough because I have too much of the other one and it doesn't continue onwards. So I could do a trash can right over here and then do a splitter into the trash can. <laughs> oh, if you're the kind of person that likes to fix bottlenecks and have a perfectly efficient setup, this is going to be your nightmare right over here. <laughs> it works. I don't see the problem. Look at the influx all of a sudden. It's me, it's my nightmare. It works well. Okay. That'll keep trickling in. Very slowly, but... I think the efficiency should go up. So you can see, that's, that's not a really cool feature that I like about this game, dude. Like, you can see what exact lines and f like facilities are part of the entire production cycle. Yeah, maybe it's better to put it over here. I think it would be, can I do a floating trash can? That seems weird, but I wonder if it's possible. No. It would make more sense to put it over here. So that way, it's only going to drop the surplus if there is a bottleneck there. Okay, so that should increase my, uh, my efficiency here significantly. It was like 30% previously, right? What levels of spaghetti have we reached? I've just figured out that there's percentages in this game. I think it's pretty good. I think this is pretty nice. My main problem right now is the main milestone. This one is a miss. <laughs> what the fuck's happening here? So, yeah. I don't love this. Luckily, Loco from the past built super close to the wall here. So I can't easily move everything. Can we all agree Loco from the past is an idiot? How do you lose in this game? Holy, what is this abomination, mate? What did you just link? I don't even want to look at that. 
I'm done looking at that. I have no idea what's happening. How do you give up in this game? Uh, you, uh... Upset Twitch chat to such a great extent that nobody has any understanding of what's happening anymore. Why is this all going so exceptionally slow? Why is this so inefficient? Where is the problem? What am I doing wrong here? I think I only need three of these things, first and foremost. Six doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. For a full belt, since I'm splitting them up, you need six. No, these are rotators. These are not cutters. It actually says two over here per full build. So a third one doesn't even make sense. I mean, I should only run one. So it's a half destroyer. It says over here we need three of them. Two of them for a full wall. So why do I have... This should work exactly as well as what I already had. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm fairly sure this is identical. Yeah. Um, so is it possible for me to just copy paste this entire abomination? Say I select... This? Don't look at it too long, okay? Is it possible for me to go straight up? Yes. Alright. So that's gonna effectively double my blue production. It's very ugly though. And also very... Unnecessarily large. Maybe I can make this like a little bit tidier somewhere? Um, unnecessarily large is what she said? I don't believe that, guys. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure, she said. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sure she said that, dude. Totally, totally. She said it, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she did say that, sure. Alright. Uh, I made it uh, a little bit more vertical. That is what, no. You love my switchbacks? <laughs> it is something, isn't it? Okay, alright. Hey! Alright. So that should give me a lot more blue squares. <laughs> it's ugly, but it'll function. This is exactly the loco you've come to expect. Look, I figure out solutions, David. All I see you do is complain. It's a great solution, it's just not optimal. We could get back to the drawing board. 
and try to figure out the exact... But I only need 8,000 of these. Only 8,000. <laughs> so I feel like it's gonna save me more time to figure out or to, to fix previous Loco's mistakes than it is for me to... Um, Uh, can I fit another one? I can fit one more. The only problem is that I may very... Okay. That'll be future Loco's problem. Boom! More blue squares. Alright. Oh, shit. That's actually also a really nice little feature though, all jokes aside, to like, yeah, see what parts are selected for that entire production. I mean, this does look better than what I was doing previously though. In my previous stream of this game, uh, this looked really bad. Like you need to constantly send them for a level? Yeah, that's what, um, I think it was Bob who said that. Wait, was it Bob? I don't remember, sorry. Wait, who said this earlier? 